Good afternoon, everybody. Mike Brussel, Brussel Works. Thank you for joining me back on my channel. I appreciate it. Today, I've got part two of my pine nesting bowls. I did the part one, and I told you there's going to be a part two where I'm going to show you how I'm going to color them and then finish them. Changed up. So what I'm going to do, and I've already done the first coat. <clears throat> Put a coat of polyurethane on them. Straight up polyurethane. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand this video over to my daughter, who's going to paint the inside with vines and leaves and maybe some flowers that will be on the inside and on the outside. And I'm looking forward to get, letting her give this a shot and uh, put another dimension to some of the work I have to offer. So, without further ado, here's my daughter Deanna. Hey y'all, this is Deanna Tate with... What Brailsford Woodworks. I am Mike Brailsford's daughter and I'm going to be painting his beautiful bowls that, as you can tell, are nesting bowls. I'm going to be using three different color paints. I got them all at Hobby Lobby. Um, I'm going to be using permanent acrylic paint orange for it's called 11140 Pumpkin. As you can see. And then I have acrylic paint deep burgundy. Again, Hobby Lobby. And then acrylic paint Prussian blue. So that nice navy blue color. I chose all fall colors because beautiful time of year. Um, and then I also got brushes at Hobby Lobby as well. All right. The first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be drawing the flowers on the small one. If you want to see what the flowers are going to look like, let me pull out my trusty dusty sketchbook. So this is a very big version of it, but that's what the flower is going to look like, but much smaller which I think I have one in here for size reference. That little flower, that is gonna be the one I am drawing on all of these bowls. Sorry, that's gonna be very hard to see, it's just they're very small flowers that I have to draw on here. You'll see them more when I start painting. But the first one is drawn, and there it is. We're going to go all over each individual bowl. Alright, so there are my flowers so far. I feel like that's probably enough for the inside so it's smaller because I still have to do vines connecting it and like leaves in there when I paint it so I'm going to leave just about one two three four five six flowers in there and then you know go from there all right we're back and we're gonna start painting the inside of all of the bowls of their flowers. And I'll start with this big one first. Alright, so now I'm going to work on my um, getting these flowers more, you know, um, realistic looking. I just need to let some of them dry a little bit longer. But again, I'm going to be using the very similar color pens from my Cricut. And 
and um, kind of like highlight them and make them a little more detailed looking. And then once I finish doing that, I will be using this, um, again, this paint is from Hobby Lobby. I got it a couple years ago. Um, and it is Hunter Green to make vines going to each flower and make some like leaves come off of it a little bit. Um, but again, this came from Hobby Lobby. Shake it up a little bit. Haven't used it in a while. all the painting done with the big bowl. Remember this is what the inside looks like. And I'll be adding those, those pens 
to all the flowers to outline them to make them a little stand out even better. All each individual petal. And all four bowls are now completed. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'll be passing it back to my dad, Mike Brailsford. Thanks, everybody. Bye. All right, so Deanna's brought the bowls back, and I got to say, she has done an absolutely amazing job. These things look gorgeous. Um, thank you, sweetie. You're welcome, Dad. And uh, now I'm going to add my logo to the bottom of the bowl. And with that, I'm going to use my new X-Tool laser. And we're going to get it set up right now to do that. All right, everybody, we burned the logo on. Looks Very amazing. happy. Yeah, and it uh, gave uh, due um, credit <laughs> to where it was due. And uh, yeah, I'm super thrilled with this. All right, thank you all for watching. Thank Please you. click like and subscribe. Also, if you think you've gotten anything out of this, uh, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Um, I will answer every single one of them. Thank you all for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Have a good day.